Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you a really amazing CLI utility that does almost every task including the video recording to video editing. Since several weeks I was searching for a best open source and a lightweight screen recorder for a Linux and some blogs give a well documented list of GUI apps like OBS Studio, Simple Screen Recorder, Kazam etc. All of them were great but I was seeking for a lightweight programs and I found a FMM pick. Despite FMM Pick is a CLI utility but it does everything that a GUI apps like OBS does. So in my opinion, FMM Pick is a best utility for recording the video and if you are a content creator or if you like to record your screen usually then this gonna be a really amazing. So let's see how we can easily record our screen using the FMM Pick. So for that I have written a small script that does everything or automate my whole task. So let me show you that. That means as record. So I have named this script as record. As you can see, that we can easily specify the video size, frame rate, audio device, preset, and the file. So let me just explain you the step by step of the formal arguments. And first, we have to type the FMM pack and followed by the video size. That will be the size of your video, or the we can also say the size of the screen. Or if you want to rescale your video to the 4K or to the 1080p, you can use out the resolution size of the video. For now, I'm just going it with the default one that is the size of my screen. If you don't know how to find out the size of your screen, then you can simply go onto the terminal and type X render. At the top, you can see out the size of my screen, and that is the 1366 followed by the 768. 1366 768. And uh, we have to specify the frame rate as well and that will be the 40 fps and if you want to record it in the 60 fps or more than 60 fps then you can just go ahead and specify it and now we are just going to specify the video device here that will be the x11 grab and we have to specify the screen as well and that will be our display variable so if you want to know what's on the display variable then you can just simply go and type the display so as you can see that it's is to zero so you can also specify the value as well i'm just going to eat with the display environment variable and let's just go ahead and specify the audio device so that will be the pulse and as an input we are just going to keep keep it as a default and let's specify the video code sec and that will be the libx264 rgb uh, there are there are lots of video code sake so you can just go ahead and read it on the documentation for now i'm just going to record my screen in a lossless quality so that is just better if you don't want to lose the quality of your video and let's just go ahead and specify the preset and that will be the ultra fast you can also specify the fast or you can also specify the medium and let's specify the audio code sake also and that will be the AAC and let's specify the file where I want to save and that will be the output.mp4 and let's press the enter so as you can see that the recording has been started and you can just go ahead and try to record your screen and when you are done you can just simply press on ctrl c or you can also send the seek kill signal to the fmm pick so let me just go ahead and clear the terminal and it's through the ls as you can see that we got the output.mp4 file or now you can play it using ff play or you can also use the mpv followed by the output.mp4 so as you can see that the recording has been started so that was it and if you want to make it really simple then just go ahead and make a simple basic script for that so let me show you mine so here as you can see that I have just kept everything as a variable. That's really easy to do it. I have just specified the output file to read from the formal argument and I have specified preset as a variable and as an audio device as a variable and frame rate and a video size. So that's really easy for writing out the simple passive script. And from the next you can simply type the record followed by the output file where you want to save it so that's quite easy for doing that so that was it it's really easy to record the screen using the fmm pick 
so I find it more effective and useful rather than using the GUI apps like OBS Studio or the Simple Screen Recorder. While talking about the lightweight, FMF Deck is more lightweight than OBS or the any other screen recording utility. So if you want to try out FMM Pick, just go ahead and try it out. This was for today.